I'm Clay Newman. This is the Zoo Review. Episode 7, The Mallard Duck. These little guys are everywhere. You can find them up in a mountainous lake, and you can find them in your backyard pool. As usual in the bird community, the males are doing the heavy lifting as far as the flashiness goes. Males or drakes have the brighter colors where the females or hens have opted, like most females in the bird world, to focus more on not being eaten than fucking. That said, only the female mallard makes that classic adorable quacking sound, so they're earning themselves some points in this category as well. Mallards are dabblers, which means they eat by floating on the water, sticking that booty up in the air, and dipping its head down under to get their food. The cutest thing about these animals is obviously their babies. Mallard ducklings are insanely adorable. Some baby birds, they look like they're in a constant sticky state of puberty, but the duckling is a floof ball of gorgeousness. I'm going to give this animal 17 for adorableness. The mallard is responsible for the only known case of animal necrophilia in our recorded history. Apparently back in 1995, a male mallard flew into a window of museum, unfortunately dying upon impact. A second male mallard flew up to that bird, proceeded to vigorously have sex with its course for over an hour and a half, while the entire time aggressively pecking at the dead bird's head. They can fly over 55 miles per hour, and though they rarely do, they're capable of traveling at well over 10,000 feet in altitude. But I think it's fair to say, unless you are an airplane or a dead, sexy-looking male duck, you are not worried about these animals. They get a three for badassness. Mallards are omnivores, which usually when it comes to birds just means they will eat anything they can. But since with these guys, the ducklings start eating mostly insects and the adults end as vegetarians, I think it's a little more intelligent and calculated than that. They have seasonal breeding partners. They meet in the fall, they breed in the spring. And while males are generally monogamous, females have been known to collect a side piece or two. Their nest can have eggs from up to three or four different ducks, which I say, get it girl, he doesn't own you. Now, when it comes to birds, one of the biggest ways they can get points in intelligence is building a nest, and ducks suck at that. They basically just dig a hole in the ground with their butt and grab whatever they can find within arm's reach to make the nest. It's not very impressive, and so, with intelligence, they get a six. Ducks don't give a fuck. They live all over the world, and apparently, even though they're nowhere near the top of the food chain, they do not mind hanging out with animals that can mess them up. This is an interesting choice of special skill as a species, and while I think it's going to help them in the next category, in this one, on an individual level, I think it's a pretty stupid move. I've never been on a jog around a lake without thinking, huh, I bet I could grab and eat that duck right now. So, for special skills, mallard, you get a four. The mallard can be found living in healthy numbers all over the globe, in no small part due to its lack of fuck giving. It is the most common hunted bird in the United States, and despite that, it's said that there are still 11.6 million breeding adults in this country alone. They're a migratory bird, which means they've still got a chance to survive even if they lose one particular part of their environment. And while they are heavily impacted by droughts and water pollution, the fact is, they love bread, we love giving them bread. Ducks, you're going to be around for quite a while. You get a 18 for will they make it. Well, Mallard, I hate to break it to you, but you just weren't smart, badass, or special enough to make it on the positive side of average for an animal. You got a final score of 48, which is still better than the reticulated giraffe, but that's not really saying much. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name's Clay Newman. This is The Zoo Review.